Hello everybody, welcome back to another Expeditions Guide. Today we're going to be taking a look at Prepare for the Worst, a contract in Coconino. For this contract, you do need to have a Mechanic Specialist on your team, as well as a Seismic Vibrator Module. So we're going to be using the Tatcher Force. Um, I'm also using a Fuel Tank Configuration for extra fuel for this very long journey that we're about to embark on, as well as I have a set of Anchors and Jack Screws for emergency purposes. So. Uh, to start off, we're going to depart from the North Outpost, and as you can see, we're going to be traveling all the way across the map um, as we get to the various survey points along the route. And I will show you how to get there and where these are at. So, starting off, we're going to make our way down to this little riverbed here. And we're going to go ahead and follow this all the way to the river so we can get across and over to our first geological survey location. So once we make it over here, we're going to just follow the river along all the way until we get to these island fords so we can get across. Once we make it here, we're going to go ahead and just make our way across to these islands. Once we get across these islands, we're going to go ahead and just make our way right over to the shore. You attach a force, you don't have to worry about going for that solid ground with the rocks. This thing can just barrel right across the mud. I've got the, uh, the twin mount snorkels on it, so water depth is not an issue with this truck at all. Uh, once we get to the beach here, we're going to go ahead and make our way across. I'm going to stop by this airdrop here, see if there's any goodies. Oh, we got some extra jack screws, and let's go ahead and just pop off the fuel while we're here. We got plenty of fuel, but let's stop it off anyway. So from here, we're going to go ahead and jump down into this little swamp here. And we're going to go ahead and climb up on the other side here. There we go. We'll have to pull us up with the winch. A little bit of low gear. There we go. All right, once we get across that swamp, we're going to make our way up the mountain here. I'm going to go ahead and just keep this thing in low plus. Alright, once we make it to the top, we're going to go ahead and just follow the plateau across. 
It's nice and flat up here, and we're going to make our way over to the bridge. Once we get over here, we're going to make a nice wide turn. Get ourselves lined up for the bridge here. lined up we're gonna go ahead and make our way across the bridge if you don't have the bridge built here it is 75 spare parts uh, we're gonna go ahead and make our way across the bridge and then we're gonna go ahead and climb down these rocks here and then we're gonna stay to the left here go across this crack in the ground and for this next crack we're gonna stay right in the middle here Once we get over here, we're going to make our way through the trees. We're going to go right in between the trees right here. And from here, we're going to make our way down. It's nice and easy here. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to back up. Or not. No, we're just going to go this way. Uh, so we're going to go in reverse here. And from here we're going to reverse our way through this rock pass. If you don't have this rock pass cleared, it is 75 spare parts. Is use that tree to kind of pull us around and what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and just back right into the mud here and that is going to give us ample opportunities to turn around um, if you'd like instead of backing through there you know feel free to find yourself a spot down there to get turned around but uh, I just find um, using that plateau is the it, it's the most easy like I don't want to say easiest but um, it's the most comfortable because there is the alternate route. I'll just show you here. Um, you can go, like, winding through these, like, rock passes and stuff. And it's just a little, I don't know, it's a little, like, longer and more stressful. I just, I really prefer to use that route climbing up onto that plateau. So, you know, if you can find yourself a different spot there to get turned around once you get off the plateau, by all means, feel free to do that instead of, um, you know, backing your way through the rock canyon. I just found it that, you know, just backing my way through the rock canyon was, would be kind of quicker, I thought. But we kind of got wedged in there, had to kind of maneuver our way through the tree. So once we head towards the ghost town, we're going to go ahead and make our way to this path, which is going to take us uh, south here. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of follow this, like, dirt road path for a while here. Just going to kind of follow this up onto this ridge here. And we're going to go ahead and follow it across this crack in the ground. And this is where we're going to deviate from our path a little bit here. And 
to get over here, we're going to go around to the left side, get around this crack. And from here, we're going to make our way down. So we're going to go around this dead tree here. We're going to make our way down, and we're going to go right over to this little bridge here. And there we go. That is the first seismic point. All right, once that one is taken care of, we're going to go ahead and make our way down to the little lake here. We're going to go down here, and then there's going to be a little path that goes right into the lake here. All right, so we're going to make our way through the rocks. And into the muddy lake here. And we're going to go ahead and just cross this muddy lake here. It's a little muddy, but it's not too much of a challenge for the Thatcher Force. And once we get to the other side here, we're going to kind of aim right in between these trees. There's a nice flat spot that we'll be able to use to kind of get the truck up. Get it nice out of here. Once we make it up here, we're going to follow this path here. And we're going to go ahead and follow this right across another little swampy area here. Again, like the last one, it's muddy, but that mud is absolutely not a challenge for the Thatcher Force. So we're going to go ahead and make our way over to these rocks here. And these rocks I have not cleared yet, so we're going to use 75 spare parts to go ahead and clear those rocks out. And from there we're going to go ahead and make our way through the newly opened up rock pass. And we're going to follow this right around to the left here. And then you're going to see some like rock stairs here on the left. We're going to go ahead and climb right up these. But we're going to use low gear here. We're going to navigate our way through these trees. Once we get through the trees, we're going to make our way down to this little platform here. And this is where you will find seismic point number two. All right, so what we're going to do now is get turned around. Once we get turned around, we're going to make our way back up the rock stairs.
pull us a little bit on that tree. There we go. And we're going to go back through the trees. And head on down the other side here. And now we're going to continue along the uh, the path. Go navigate around these trees here. We're going to go ahead and follow this path all the way just straight south here for a little bit. As we make our way to the third and final seismic point, which is the farthest away it could possibly be. We're going to continue to follow the path here. It's going to wind down through a nice little swamp hole here. So we're going to cross that. Alright, once we make it to the second little ghost town, you can say hi to the horse ghost. And we're going to make our way up around the old stump. And up over here, we're going to try to avoid this crack in the ground to our left. So we climb over this ridge here. I'm actually going to go ahead and just top off the field just a little bit here. Well, that hurt. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to make our way around over here. We do got to get around this rock. We can't go to the left side of it, so we're going to go to the right side of the rock here. I'm just going to drive it straight off into the swamp here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and make our way up here. And once we get here, boom, the third and final seismic vibrator point. And there you go. That is prepare for the worst completed and... This one unlocks the gas station module for your expedition bases, allowing you to have tons of extra fuel available at your base, as well as uh, the side-mounted racks for the AFIM S1960. So, hope you guys enjoyed this guide. This is the long one. Hope that makes it a little easier for you. We'll see you in the next one.
Bye-bye.